obviously Captain America wasn't virgin. Look out! What's going on, movie goers? If you're new to the channel, my name is Christian. Welcome to SeaWorld Productions. You guys, we got some good information to talk about She-Hulk and some casting rumors for Madam Web. Very interesting casting rumors that I just couldn't, I couldn't let it go by without talking about it, you guys. It looks like they're kind of doing their own Spider-Verse film for Madam Web. Because who's excited for a Madam Web movie? Raise your hand. Not me. <laughs> but with these casting rumors, it's kind of interesting. And I was like, okay, I can kind of get behind this. And then the rumor of the plot, I was like, oh shit, oh, interesting. I can definitely get behind this. Look, I'm not saying that Madam Web's gonna be shit. And I'm not saying it's gonna be on the level of No Way Home or, or Spider-Man 2, I'm not. But I'm saying that there's a possibility that Madam Web could be much better than any of the Sony films that they've done recently, like Venom, Venom to be Carnage, and know the, the I think Craven the Hunter is in post-production. So Madam Web just might sit at the top with this potential rumor of the castings and plot, which we will dive deep into after this She-Hulk stuff. Now, look, you guys, I have my concerns for She-Hulk. I do. I have my concerns. Um, it was confirmed that, you know, uh, they're going to be exploring a lighter side of Daredevil in She-Hulk. You know, they said, you've seen the dark, you've seen the darker side already with the Marvel Netflix stuff. And like, we're going to be exploring a little bit of the lighter side of this character. And I was just like, calm down. What does that mean? Is he going to be all jokey and shit? Look, you have to realize that this isn't the Daredevil we saw from the Netflix show. Yeah, there's some resemblance, but it's kind of like a soft reboot. I just don't think that it would be a good idea if they tonally shift the character in a way that it's so drastically different from the Netflix stuff. Because what made the Netflix stuff so great was the dark and gritty storytelling that they created over there. So I'm hoping that it's not a drastic change for Daredevil. Because if so, we're going to have some problems. We are, you guys. Now, I'm still excited to see Daredevil. I think he's going to be a badass in the MCU. Hell, he's getting his own Disney Plus series, Daredevil Born Again. That is 18 episodes. Let's go. That's exciting stuff. But I have my concerns. I have my concerns about Abomination. With the recent, you know, TV spot release, he transforms or whatever, and he's in his little cage, and he, she's like, you know, transform back or whatever. And he's like, okay, okay. And he's like, I was like, what? I, what? I, I just, I, in my mind, I think of the Incredible Hulk and how much of a badass Abomination was. You don't deserve this power. And he, right in this, you know, Hulk's chest. I'm like, oh shit, that's the, that's the abomination we're getting. But then I have to realize it's not, it's not you guys. That's not the abomination we're getting. We're probably going to get a dumbed down, neutered abomination like Hulk. That's what we're probably going to get. And I just don't know how I feel about it. But ultimately at the end of the day, I always revert back to the incredible Hulk because that was top tier Hulk in the MCU. That was top tier. And I so, I so want that again in the Marvel Cinematic Universe further down the line. I do. I want the Hulk to lose rage. I, I just, I, that's what I want, you guys. I'm sorry, but that's what I'm accustomed to loving. That's what I've read in the comic books. That's what I want. Like I said, I have my concerns. I do. Um, and also, there's a new rumor stating that, you know, the, the, the film rights to Hulk could go back to Marvel Studios as early as mid-summer of next year, you guys. So I'm like, oh, that's exciting. Well, maybe they'll announce sometime next year that they're working on a solo Hulk project. That could be a possibility. I, I, like I said, there's that rumor of them doing, you know, um, World War Hulk, you know, pl that Planet Breaker Hulk. Like, that's something a lot of fans want to see. And I just hope it turns out to be true. And, you know, there, there are more future projects to explore if you do decide to do, you know, Hulk son Scar in the MCU. It, it would make all the sense in the world if you know if you want to do future projects. But you guys, in a recent clip from <laughs> from She Hulk, they are kind of stopped by a spaceship. So it starts off. You have Bruce and you have Jen, right? They're driving. And Bruce still has his arm strap, right? And all of a sudden, they're attacked by a ship. You're like, what the hell? This ship is a ship from Sakar. 
And I was like, maybe the Hulk had enemies that are looking for him on Earth. Or maybe that could be his son, which he was rumored to appear in this show. Which would be crazy to me if they did actually have Scar show up. I don't know how old he would be. I don't know the time difference, but that would maybe time works differently over there on Sakaar. That would be insane. And I would be so with it, you guys. And that whole scene is going to spark of how Jen's going to get, you know, the, you know, the, the, the blood transfusion from Bruce, you know, blah, blah, blah. And that's what's going to happen. But like I said, you guys, She-Hulk drops August 19th, you guys. So we're damn near a couple of day, a couple days away. And I, I'm, I'm excited. I'm sorry. I didn't get the early screeners like a lot of freaking YouTubers, but I'm still working on it, you guys. One day I'll get there. One day I will. Madam Web, you guys. Let's talk about these casting rumors for Madam Web and how this could potentially be their own kind of Spider-Verse film. Now, you guys, Adam Scott is rumored to be playing a young version of Uncle Ben. These are rumors, you guys. I don't know how true this is, but a young version of Uncle Ben. And you have Emma Roberts, who is rumored to be playing Mary Parker. Then you have Sydney Swidney. I think that's how you pronounce her last name. Rumored to be playing Julia Carpenter. Then you have Isabella Merced. Rumored to be playing Anya Car Carazon. Then you have Dakota Johnson. Rumored to be playing Cassandra Webb. And then you have Celeste O'Connor. Rumored to be playing Maddie Franklin. Spider-Woman. These are multiple Spider-Women, you guys. Very interesting. Like I said, these are just rumors. I don't know how true they are. But this could be a lot of fun. Because I was like, how are you going to pull off a Madam Web movie? Who is excited for Madam Web? Madam Web, like, has she ever had her own solo comic book run? Most people only know her from the Spider-Man series, the animated series in the 90s. That's it. So maybe Madam Web is going to be the bridge between the whole multiverse type ordeal with Sony and Marvel Studios and how they could potentially use Tom Holland Spider-Man. You know, it, it could work. I'm not saying it's going to be a banger, but it could work, you guys. I mean, if you were going to do a Madden Web movie and you needed it to be a lot a lot of action, this is the way you would do it. Have a bunch of Spider-Women in there. You know, there is no Spider-Man in this universe yet. Young Uncle Ben, not born yet. But this could work out, you guys. It could work out. Post your comments down below. Let me know what you guys think about these casting rumors for Madden Web. Thoughts and opinions, you guys. What are your concerns for She-Hulk? Do you feel the same way about Abomination and, you know, Daredevil being a little bit more on the lighthearted side? You know, please post your comments down below. Let me know what you guys think. Peace.